Yeah, and Ali's going to try and adjust off the back of it. I'm not sure if Seized was close enough to hear that. He might have done, but Alu actually giving it all up and heading around. He might be going towards the kind of crow's nest, but no. Turns tail. He realizes what's going on now. Zeus and Seized are already very close towards B, and the fire's coming in. Alu's going to have to take the challenge here, but those mollies are going to make it hard. Oh my god, two mollies on top of him as well. There's nothing he could do, and Exist is trying to lend his force. But it's just Freiburg up and Sniper now as well, just trying to play shooting ducks. And he is the sitting duck as Seized picks him up, and that is 10 to one in scoreline here. NIP, we were all hoping he would be able to salvage something after that last map and come out strong, but this has been a very underwhelming performance from them over both these maps tonight. Yeah, I think I think we can all agree this is not the nip that we wanted to see turning up today, but I think on the other side of things, to flip the coin over, Edward has been having a massive game, especially towards B. Whenever he goes there, he's just been able to be absolutely perfect on it, and already the set smoke's gonna come out to play from Navi. You can see the setup here, Molly down towards that kind of place where Freiburg's been pushing out to try and get the early information. And Na'Vi looking like they're going towards brute force this time. Forrest already going to be caught out by Flamey there, but NIP have so little to work with. That's right. And, and on the other side, Na'Vi have so much to use, so much utility. The Howley even need to walk into this site to neutralize the NIP presence there. And Alu, just Alu now with it all to do. He will find <laughs> Flamey, but it's a very short spark of hope before Guardian snuffs him out. And moment after moment, Navi just, just starting to get more and more confident as well. Okay, 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 okay. all right, Nip. I get it, we, we, we get it. So the firing squad's come back, um, immortalized on Dust2. Now, overpass. All right, let's, let's see how this goes. We've got the five all presents, brand new style coming out from Nip. Gerai did well, he picked up the 3k last time he did this on the last map, but Navi waiting it back, just kind of waiting like, what the hell are they bringing to this round? Exist holding long. Edward was fairly close towards that as well, so this is going to be interesting. NIB, I, I guess if nothing else is working, you've got to switch it up somehow. Credit to Navi, they're actually not really pushing into this one at all. They played the, the first bit of the round quite slowly here. Exist is watching a very tight angle. He wants to thread the needle on this one, but he comes a step playing towards long. He will take out Seas, but can he get any more? Shots are coming in towards him. He's using the tree for some cover. Ali gets involved. Exist with his second there as well. Can he find Guardian? No. He will be shut down by four orbs and four players on the map for NIP. Gives him a lot of room to breathe. And Guardian looking for the shot, he's down towards 2 HP and Ali will finish him off with a pistol that adds insult to injury. And Zeus is sitting there wondering, well, okay, orbs, fine, let's see what we can do. Ali will drop, bomb is in his hands now, the three players and three orbs to contest with. It's going to have to be a superhuman effort and Forrest will put him to bed. I'll never doubt it, you know what I mean? Like, what's, what's the point in doubting this these days with NIP? Are they going to go back to it? I don't know if they even can really at this point. Uh, they're going to drop some out. Let's see, we've got the M4 with Alu. So Alu, the main AWPer, I guess you could say, is going to be on the M4. And we're going to see Get Right Exist and Forest picking up the orbs. All right, let's see Let's see it again. Why not? Why, why not? It's it's the second round they've got, so... You know, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done, boys. I'm done. Anyway, here we go. Na'Vi going to switch things up, going to try and adjust around. And Guardian showing him how it's done. Going to find Gero pretty much instantaneously as Freiburg forced to commit that smoke fairly early on. Create that small gap to watch as Forrest lingers down. That's the shot fly. Alu, though, does at least get a kill this time with the M4. All right, Forrest, that will pick up Seize now. Looking through the pipe. He knows Flame is on the other side. He's going to try and smoke himself away from this one here. Does he just sit there and wait? Oh, we'll back up a little bit now as Edward gets rid of Freiburg here. Two warps left and his forest and exist, and they're both very, very low. Edward past Sandbags looking for Exist just on the other side of that pillar. One shot was not enough for Exist to take him down, but Edward there is Forrest though. He's chiming in. He is flaming though straight towards the head, but Exist will shut him down and the orbs still kinda working. And I say kinda. They're still kind of working. They're kind of working, you know what I mean? Like, maybe Exist should just become the main AWPA, and then maybe Forest and Get Right as well. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe Alu just needs to stop AWPing. Like, maybe that's the difference, who knows? Um, he's not having a bad performance overall. It, it's certainly not his best, but he's doing just fine. It's just, you know, we're gonna see it now on the other side as well. So, Edward, Zeus, and Seized gonna be running the AWPs as well. What is going on in this game? All right, so Alu's gonna be up against two here, and well, funny enough, Edward's gonna win that one as Forrest now goes hunting again. Little does he know they're going to be waiting for him. That's Flamey and Seize. There's Get Right going to be looking towards a little bit of a party with Guardian, but Guardian ever so cautiously tries to take the peek, but Get Right gets it. There, his third frag of the match here, and you can see Navi happy to oblige with oh, the wait. AWP off having three of their own. Zeus and Get Right again pretty close as well. I wonder if Zeus can find a little bit of form here with the AWP too. 
Oh, he's gonna be looking for connector. Can he find it? Get right just gets crumpled in a heap <laughs> as the door opens. And Zeus now looking for his next victim here. As Exis is playing very passively around that corner there as well. But Zeus, oh, I think he's shown some patience here. We'll have to see now. <laughs> this is just a Mexican, Mexican stand off. Right? There's tumbleweed in the distance, there's the whistling sound. And let's see who has the quicker draw here. <laughs> Zeus might get bored of waiting here. And actually, Exis gets taken a little bit low by that nade. He's gonna smoke his retreat and back off onto the side. I don't know what to say anymore. Guardian was with the rifle as well in that round, which is the best part, but... All right, Freiburg's, Freiburg's still doing what he does. There we go. So the M4A4 with him being the last bastion of hope and nip on the A site, whereas Exist and Forest still lurking their way around B, making sure there's no easy jump off. But with 20 seconds left, they're going to have to commit soon. Freiburg just out of the reach of that Molly. Going to commit on the side of it. He's going to catch out Cease. Gets down one. Can't connect the spray on the second. And Exist missing the shot this time. Missing the follow-up. And Flame, he's not going to fall for that. As Forrest now in a 1v3. And a couple of seconds until that bomb goes down. Let's see what he can do here. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Says Forrest as he's going to be hunting now. Of course, there's still three Na'Vi players to deal with. Let's see if he can have a bit more luck than existed. Ooh, just going to miss that one as well. It's pretty much given away his position there, and it would, would shut him down. And the Orp Dream is dead. Halftime brings 12 and 3 for Na'Vi. That is a massive lead, and NIP must regain something. They must regain some composure, maybe some logic when it comes to purchasing weapons as well here. It's now and ever. I, I'm not going to lie, though. I love seeing Edward picking up the Orp. He did get the 3K in the end as well, so... It's kind of, kind of, kind of sexy CS from Edward at this point. He's, he's showing how it's done, and even in those final rounds, yeah, sure they were kind of playing a little light. Let's just say, it's still a great performance from Navi. Their T side has been really impressive, not just in this map, but the one prior as well. And uh, Nip, at least in warm-up again, kills. It's pretty ironic, actually, because I brought up at the start of the game that Na'Vi's CT halves are actually uh, yeah. one of their selling points on this map, winning 70% of them. But last week as well, we actually saw a similar situation where both they and Na'Vi, uh, so they, they and Titan <laughs> had strong T halves. Yeah. It was just Titan with the strongest CT to finish it off. So uh, uh, three rounds here, pistol means pretty much everything. Now, as we see if NIP can keep themselves in this one, hanging on the precipice of a second defeat in a row to Na'Vi, who are looking hot to trot. Ah, <sighs> NIP. What are you going to go for first round now? I'm, I'm, I, I'm all jewelies? No. Okay. I was kind of hoping the jewelies would come out. I know Get Right is sometimes a little, little favourable to it, but they are going into this as you'd maybe expect. We see the Glock train coming out for everyone barring Freiburg, who still, of course, has a Glock, but maybe going for the utility um, just to put the smoke and the flash into practice. But still, Guardian going to head straight out. Look for this one, and it looks like the flash should be put down in place. We're going to see a big exchange at the beginning. Already Forrest coming out on top, but Edward going to reply well. Brilliant play from him so far tonight. That play was no different there. Flamey actually quickly takes the head off. Alu Edward now looking for one himself. NIP are crumbling under the pressure, but Get Right keeps him in this just. The finger is hanging over the edge of the cliff now. As Edward drops his three plays left. Zeus will go down as well with 2v2, and Flamey is overrun by existing Get Right pushing forward. Now Guardian with it all to do. 1v2 situation. He's shaving health off Get Right, but Exist will find his cranium. Yeah, exist on the swing out in the end, picking up three. And maybe there's a little bit of silver lining here for Nip, but it's a long way back. Don't do this to me again. Don't do a dust two again, NIP, please. Please, I pray to you. But still, uh, let's see what they purchase here. Two MAC-10s, a rifle for Get Right. Three MAC-10s. Is this what you fancy? He's going for the rifle. Okay, so two rifles, three SMGs. On the other side of the board, we got the Deagles coming out. Are they going to line up with these? I'm kind of hoping they are. That's a lot of damage to be come down. All right. So a 3-2 split, but all towards B. NIP could be in trouble here. This this could be quite deadly. Flamey now will be the one to set up here as well. Zeus actually pushing with this one. Oh, Forrest, have a seat. He's looking for a second as well, but Freiburg will be able to send it back now. But Seized as well takes down that injured player from NIP. Three on three is Seized. Just tries to back up a little bit here. Flamey looking left, right, and center. Not really sure where to aim at this point as Get Right is in those pipes. Ali moving forward with the MAC-10 gets one. Get Right, good timing on towards Flamey there to pick him up. And now it's just Seized as well with his own MAC-10. The Deagle comes out as well, but it's not enough. And if last round was mandatory for NIP, this one probably was as well. I got to take it piece by piece here, getting two in a row. Not too shabby, but we'll wait and see what happens in the buy. Yeah, exactly. Retaining two rifles there, very important as well for Nip. Um, only losing out on the Mac 10s, but still, you know, Navi doing a little bit of damage, not making it easy for Nip to start building up the economy and maybe looking for an early double up on the T side. Not going to be happening all that soon, unless this round does become a little bit of a feed fest. But Navi going for the, the five man stack again. We're going to see the push down long. Alu's going to be the one to be receiving, I can imagine, if. He gets an inkling as to where they are. Uh -oh. Now. 
This could be dangerous. He's going to run into a heck of a lot of players if he's not careful. Just going to take his time in party for a second. He doesn't hear anything as the bomb's down. So this is definitely going to make you raise your eyebrow. But he does finally see some Na'Vi plays. He takes down one. He takes down two. But Zeus is there. And this stack from Na'Vi not yielding too much now as the bomb is down. And they, well, they've got a bit of running to do. Maybe just trying to find the guys with rifles. If they were working towards A, it'd be more than likely on long with them. But no such luck. Just find the Mac Daddy. Flame is going to pick that one up. And the one for one trade coming out there. Zeus will close down Freiburg, but still, two rifles kept alive. Forrest is waiting on the other side of that door, and both players are up here. This could be dangerous. He does pre fire down towards Zeus, and knows they are. Second will be waiting. Nice work from Forrest then, and denying any sort of guns being kept over. And a good bit of bank being built up by Forrest as well, so he could get the AWP into this round if he fancies it. And it looks like Ali will go for it, and Forrest. So the double AWP coming out now, as they did make so much bank with those SMGs. And we're going to see Guardian trying to stop them on the other side. See how this one comes into play. It's not five AWPs, that's for sure, and that's, to be honest, is where most of NIP success has been coming from so far. Maybe this is the uh, happy medium. As it were for those ones, and they can put a few more rounds together now. As for the most part, the split is a two and three again. A lot of plays towards B here for Navi. Almost a bit of a stack now. Let's see if they can set something up here as Guardian dashes across. He does, I think, set for at least in the well. corner. Yeah, Zeus and Flamey are being real aggressive with this, is, and then Guardian's already waiting for it. One centimeter further, he's gonna find Forrest, catch him off guard, remove the AWP out of presence, and I like this from Na'Vi, taking over the map but not pushing too far just yet, keeping NIP guessing and buying so much so much time now as Freiburg with the bomb, gonna have to be very cautious here to not lose that one, but Edward's gonna find Exist. And now three players left for Nip. This is not the buy that NIP were hoping for at all. Freiburg can't even go for the drop door or anything like that. And there's Flamey takes down, get right. Na'Vi have great control of construction and by extension, the middle of the map through that connector. And Freiburg and Alu have been herded now out towards those canals. Zeus will be lying in wait with Edward in construction. Na'Vi have a heck of a lot of control of this site. And Alu just have to throw them, uh, and NIP with Alu, of course, have to throw themselves at this and see what sticks. Well, at least Alu's going to find the first, but I'm wondering if Flamey's going to take the angle on this, try and swing out here. Flash comes out, doesn't catch him, and Zeus already positioning on towards short. He's going to find Alu real easy, and it's just Freiburg left, and his position duly noted. Zeus will be there with a the close down, and Na'Vi take another step to a 2-0 victory over NIP tonight. And NIP fall not with a battle cry, but with a whimper here. It's been a subdued outing from them, to say the very least here tonight. And Harvey in such a commanding position right now as well. Last game, scoreline was 16 to 6, and this is heading in a similar direction right now. There's still some AKs being brought up for NIP. They've got themselves some nades as well. Forrest, though, having to resort to just the Deagle. Yeah, and Navi going for the straight up play there. Once again, trying to take over map control. This time towards A, though, pushing straight up towards Party in the fountain. Peeking down. That's going to be Guardian leering on towards Nip. Not going to be connecting these shots, though. Seized, saving the day. Oh, the double there coming out from Na'Vi. Season Zeus getting some now. Flamey pushing forward. They're aggressive. They're not giving NIP any time to set up. No time to make a set play. Edward had the Mag 7. He's been able to trade that away now after picking up Freiburg. And get right. We'll get the spray down. He's been the quietest for NIP tonight. He's looking for a little bit of magic there. But the smoke will obscure most of those Na'Vi players. And he must change tact here. And the bomb feeling as though a mile away at this point. Guardian holding that one very close by and get right desperately looking for a route here an option available but so many angles locked down by Navi even Edward predicting the get right will be going on the long rotate here gonna kind of fall Guardian a little close towards the bomb Zeus is pushing up as well and it's Edward to close it down this is Navi looking very very good very strong just clinically done that's the thing whether it's the play towards A pushing up a little further B pushing up a little further it's all looking good and this should be 15 to 6 as NIP's economy is in tatters, down to around 2k. We're going to see the Tech 9 purchase. They're going to go for this one. They're going to do whatever they can to deny that 15th round towards Na'Vi. But it looks almost inevitable if it keeps going this way. But let's see if Nip can pull themselves back in here. Well, it looks like it's a bit of a stack towards B for them for the most part in the Tech 9 train. Let's see if it can have the intended impact now. It sees has the Molotov ready. You can see the flashes coming over on towards that B side as well. And NIP just waiting in the wings here, ready to flood out as a whole. But look at the setup here. Seas and Zeus Edwards there as well. Molotov will go down, smoke will obscure NIP as they push across here. But now it's time for Navi to get involved. Nip have at least brought the site a little closer than usual, but Edward just kicking it back real calm. Finds Get Right, the bomb yet to go down in the hands of Alu. Forrest gonna find Seize though. 3v3 here. Edward gets mowed down too. Forrest well, wants to take matters into his own hands. He's had enough of this. He's gonna get a rifle. Alu gets a gun as well. And it's Freiburg left on the tech line. The Guardian tries to peer in, gets denied by Forrest as well. Three for him on the board and Flamey, last man standing. Keeping that pace real high for Nip here in this game, or at least in this round, should I say. 
does turn the tide, but it seems to what end. Can they then pick, you know, pull that in towards a gun round is the next big hurdle. Well, it's clear to see that Flamey doesn't want a bar of it at the moment, and he'll just sit back and hope for maybe a little cheeky pick on the end there. Alu presents himself, but he's not able to finish. And Na'Vi taken out in that one round there, and one of the more convincing rounds we've seen from NIP. And it all started, ironically, from that Tech 9 for straight on into that B site. They can't do it with proper guns, but, I mean, they were coming from such unexpected angles here on towards Na'Vi, they just didn't know how to react. Yeah, and I, I actually quite like the way Nip did it, was just kind of making that site way closer range than normally. It's just smoking off so many angles, pulling Na'Vi into closer fights where that Tech 9 can flourish. And of course, Forrest giving us the masterclass in that. And he once again looks to go pretty fast here. Just gonna be doing those early flashes, but this time Guardian and Zeus going in for the early challenge. Flashes come out. This could be dangerous. Well, Zeus is pushed aggressively again. He's looking towards Forrest. The doors open up towards his right. He flicks across. He doesn't able to find Exist. And Exist gets two for that one. It's a trade. Flaming now. Only got the, oh, the 5 7 of He's enough to take down Get Right. Ali responds in with the orb. But the 2v2 here. And this is Navi coming in. Well, not as armed as NIP. And they've managed to even the ledger. But Edward has been that raid boss on that B side. He's waiting patiently on the site itself. Peering through, Flash comes out from. I think he just caught a glimpse of Alu then. Just the shoulder, but it's not enough. Alu connects with the orb, leaving Seas now in the 1v2. 50 seconds remaining on the board. NIP can drag this round wherever they want to. And it looks as though A is the intended site. There is potential here for Seas to pull something brilliant out as well. Oh. Ooh, they tried to sell the fake at they A. Have. And it's worked. Seas has got himself way up towards Bank here. And he will well, be uh, scuttling now once he realizes what's happening over towards B. And it's a redundant Flash being thrown over there by an, uh, an IP just to set things up. And the bomb will go down. They have great cover as well. Alu with the orb looking towards Sniper. Where does Seas go? Bomb's down. Alu should be able to get this. And Exist is just going to wait for the defuse if required. Alu's going to see the shoulder. And that's all he needed. Nicely done by Alu to close out those two kills that were important ones. Not only the last one there, but the one prior towards Edward. And now that has put Na'Vi in a bit of a, you know, a little bit of a shoddier place. Not able to get the purchase going here. But we're going to see the P250s and Nade coming out. And it, it does seem as though Nip are at least going to get a better scoreline than the first map, which is quite surprising considering the history here. Absolutely. The double orb actually working out reasonably well for them here yeah. as well. But between Exist and Alley, that was four kills uh, in that last round. Those two doing some serious work to close it out. And here we go. We only got a couple grenades here for Navi. No armor to speak of here and just the old pistols. As I get right now, has a P90 in hand. He'd love to put this to good use and he does. Zeus crumples in a heap as he makes his way in towards sandbags as well. Ooh, a bit of a dink towards the man as he throws a smoke in the grenade to follow. Clever from Guardian to get that scalp. <laughs> oh, I bet get right so annoyed at that. Just, you got a smile, I guess, at that point. But uh, Freiburg trying to ward them off from the P90, spraying him with the AK here. But uh, even with that in mind, NRP are going to have to play this one fairly cautiously. Guard, uh, excuse me, Edward has recovered the P90, so has a little bit of bite to his bark on that B site if they do decide to hit it still. But Nip being very cautious about this, they don't have the mollies to clear out the corners just yet. We are going to see that boost coming in towards mid. Edward leering over the top. Not going to see anything just yet. That may encourage him to go over towards A, but Nip is still waiting by B. Freiburg heard the drop there as well from Edward, so he knows that there were a few players there, and still NIP want to force the envelope here on towards B. It's existing forest, and Freiburg making his way through on towards sandbags. It's essentially an unattended B site for Navi. They stack A. And to what end? How will they rotate onto this one quickly enough as Exist creeping his way ever closer towards that B site? Forrest will, of course, hold from Pit with the Orb. And Na'Vi, none the wiser. Nice stuff from there, playing that one slow. And good work from Forrest, just turning around, finding Seas real fast. As this should be a clean round for Nip. They shouldn't lose out on too much, because as you noted, Na'Vi are so far out of this retake that it, it just shouldn't be possible. At, at no means should they be able to close it back in. So. Maybe trying to find some exits, I can imagine. Try and catch a couple of the NIP guys on the way through. But bearing in mind, Na'Vi didn't have much to play with in this one. They did at least get down Get Right. If they find any more, that'd be a real bonus. Well, if anyone can, Edward, I mean, Edward had the P90. Guardian also looking, going hunting here through Connector. They try and pick out the door and find something quickly. Exist will be there, though, as well, trying to bait that one. Jumping across. And there was another round coming up here for NIP. But the caveat, of course, is that Na'Vi should be able to buy themselves a little bit here, at least in part. Some AKs surely will be coming out here. It's a man four. Famous being bought. So they are going for a little bit of a force up here. Yeah, so two Famouses. Uh, Zeus can be the one to pick up the P90. Wondering where he'll take that as Edward fancies the Famous instead. 
And on the other side of things, of course, the double op still in practice by Alu and Forrest. We're going to see a lot of mollies coming out to play as well. Exist Fryberg and Geraghty are going to be picking those ones up. Looking to see where they put them down. But once again, kind of vacating A here for Na'Vi. They're putting a lot of strain towards getting control on B. And Nip are just slowing things really quite far down. Trying to get these early picks. Trying to just remind Na'Vi to, you know, you've got to take us quite seriously here. You can't take all these challenges. And now Seize is a little caught there. If Forrest had stayed out on that pick, he could have maybe, maybe caught someone out here. But Seize does make it away alive. And Nip slowly gaining ground. Just now. Bit of Na'Vi-esque play coming out from NIP as they slow the pace down. The bomb is still left back into towards the tunnels here. And we'll get right, we'll be pushing up a little bit, but it doesn't seem like, well, there's no real proclivity for ninjas to, to favor away anyone bomb side yet. But here comes Exist as well, working his way out through Connect, just looking for something, a bit of warbang, softening up Na'Vi before they try and go for the throat here. Na'Vi would love to clutch this one away from Grey Molotov from Exist here. That's going to force a change of position from Zeus. Guardian now down in towards that pit behind the pillar. And still, NIP sitting back on this one. 35 seconds left in the round. It's a real shame they didn't work off the back of that. Now Gerai is going to be starting to come in. You can see those smokes put down. This worked when they had Tech Nine's Guardian. Again, can be forced down into the crosshairs of Gerai. And NIP taking control of this bomb site. Excellent Molotov there as well. Going to force change of position from Guardian. Freiburg finds the head of Zeus and it's just flaming and seized. There's a lot of work to do. It might be a two gun save here from these two. They want to keep their economy fairly healthy heading into these last few rounds. And NIP have managed to bring back four rounds now in a row. Yeah. And again, I say this frequently tonight, but better late than never. The thing is that NIP's play towards B, that execute is quite impressive. And they, they've had to slow down the pace so they don't lose out on those early trades that Na'Vi were capitalizing on. But now Na'Vi kind of struggling a little bit to, to deal with it. But then they'll, they, they have the chance to switch up here. They are on 14 rounds. It does seem as though Flamey and Seized should be able to retain this. Unless Exist gets a little closer. Get right there along with him as well. Oh, and Exist will find Flamey. And I'm wondering if Seize is going to make it out alive. He's got Freiburg coming around, but no. Freiburg can't get him down in time, and the orb will be saved. Most important gun there being preserved, at least for Na'Vi here. Guardian may well pick it up again, I think, and see what he can actually achieve with that one. Again, this double orb setup has been paying dividends for NIP right now. It definitely seems like they've been managed to find their own flow a little bit here. And they put a few more rounds together. But one slip will mean curtains, especially if Na'Vi can capitalize on it here. See, he's actually keeping the orb here as the rest of his team goes for a bit of a save. Aggressive push, and Ali not really showing his dome yet as oh, well. Oh. Sees, though, looking for it, and he will get taken out. Ali doing well on these ones here. Oftentimes, you know, Na'Vi looking to go 1v1 against him, and he seems to get the better of his opposite number most times. Yeah, really, really good start for NIP into this round, but still a lot of work to be done. Na'Vi are waiting patiently in these corners, but Forrest just gets completely caught off by Edward. But, oh my word, Edward found Get Right as well? How on earth did he manage that? But no guns to be recovered just yet for Na'Vi. They are falling under the pressure of Nip with this purchase. Geraint and Forrest are lost, but Zeus trying to find that lost orb, and I think he's going to find out that has been hidden well and truly away. Fortune favours the bold in Edward's case. Unfortunately, not able to convert into any more than oh, just those no. two kills, Zeus. He's found himself an orb here, and he will just try and sit himself back somewhere as the bomb goes down. And again, Na'Vi will go for the save here at the end of the round. And will take their time on it as well. Honestly, it's getting a little bit close here. Another failed buy for Na'Vi, and this one could be anyone's game. And the important thing is as well, Freibo's going to pick up the AWP, so Forrest can take that one into the next round. They have pulled this back. They're into double digits now, and they'll be on 11 to 14. And I'm looking at Na'Vi's economy. It's, it's not perfect. They could go for a buy into the next round if they fancied it. Wait and see. Zeus. Waiting for that timer to tick down. Exist is going to give away the game, but Zeus can probably wait this one out. 50 seconds and takes down Exist for his troubles. 12 seconds remain. Uh, 12 HP remains even, as he will stay alive. But we will be seeing the purchase coming out from Na'Vi now. This is where they want to stop the rot. If you give Nip, you know, an inch here, they might just take a mile. So I'm looking to see how Na'Vi now adapt off the back of this. They've been struggling a little bit in this after those last couple of rounds. How many rounds is it back to back here? Five now back to back for NIP. So starting to find that little bit of fluid play, but seized not having any of this. He wants to take the challenge already and he's going to be met by Forrest and Exist. That's it. They have to nip this one in the bud. No pun intended as NIP start to stack them right on up. His Guardian looking in towards Connector there as well. NIP are taking the time through those tunnels, oh. but there's Guardian. Just a little bit of magic. That's what Na'Vi needs. That's going to propel them forward now in towards the rest of this round. Flashes are going in towards mid as well, and Na'Vi seem to be well and truly aware that NIP have picketed that part of the map out. But will that information be translated into kills? And the round as Guardian go for some warbanks here, and look at the 
amount of pressure being put down onto this part of the map here as far as just getting the heck out of dodge with that bomb. And the, and the big difference is that Nip haven't been dying early in the rounds they've been collecting. They've been keeping players alive, going for those full executes towards the site. But as we can see, you know, I think there's a little bit of Go TV lag there. But still, at the moment, Nip have now lost out on that individual player. They've lost out on the start, which is the big difference. Guardian had become a little quiet here. Flamey's going to find Exist, leaving merely three. And it looks like Na'Vi en route to that 15th round that was evading them for so long. As we're seeing the slow build up from Nip towards the A site, not been so successful in comparison to that fall, be executed. NIP hope to break A open with those orbs, but Forrest is going to go down and guard it. We'll uh, sneer at the very thought of NIP trying to take this one over with just two players now as well. You can see he's looking towards a long, and Freiberg will creep up close to him there. Going to opt for the flash. Freiberg tries to make the pick. It'll be oh. a great flick from Guardian. He, Freiberg gets disinimated. And there's Alu on towards Zeus. And that's it. I just made up a new word as well, you by did. the way. Decinimated. Decinimated. It was like Damn. decimated and eliminated. There are so many things I could have said out of that one. I actually don't know. It's just a... It's just, just a word. Emotive words put together. Didn't, unfortunately, didn't double the uh, impression like I hoped it was, but Guardian, great work nice there replay. On, on towards Freiberg. <laughs> disintimating everyone. <laughs> yeah, the replay really disintimated the stream, but still, it doesn't matter. We're into this what could be final round. Uh, Nip do have a lot of money so they can get back on that double up. but look at Na'Vi straight away looking for this early presence, looking for the early pick, and more often than not, when they find it, they win the round. So Nip trying to avoid it, trying to play a little quicker towards B, but Seize is lurking behind. Guardian's pushing up on long. They're closing this net, and there we go. Already finding the first is not putting Nip in good stead. Perfect start there for Guardian as well. Just going that little bit more aggressive, and it's paying off right now. Alu off the table, one off, off the table as well. Forrest getting too close to Zeus there, and he's going to pick him up. Seize is going to push him here from construction. The spray, it's a messy one, but he gets two for his troubles. He exists to get right, go down. Seize hanging on to life, and this could be it. This could be the final nail of the coffin. Freiburg falls to Seize, and Flamey steals his thunder by uh, well, stealing his life there, but that is the <laughs> game. And NIP, unfortunately, fall at what could be the final hurdle. A bit of a shame to see them go out like that in the end, but we saw how important those opening kills were for Na'Vi. Whenever Guardian was picking them up, whether it was on Get Right or Alu then in the final round, it did completely change the, the landscape of how the round played out. When NIP were able to slow things down, play a little more patiently, we saw them pick up those five rounds back to back. Highly impressive stuff, but not enough to close down that map. So in the end, it will be Na'Vi picking up the double points there, pretty much, I believe, six points in the bag, which will put them up into third place in the Pro League's uh, leaderboard so far. So a really big night for them. But we've got the big game coming up now. So let's let's not kind of beat around the bush. Let's not uh, allude to this anymore because it is the elephant in the room. It is going to be TSM up against Fnatic next. Now that is a game I'm looking forward to. Absolutely. I mean, it's definitely going to be delivering a Fnatic that has shown some signs of revival. I mean, I don't want to yeah. be too negative about it. There was a bit of a streak there. It wasn't great for them. And conversely, TSM had a big streak, had that one shut down. And again, a little bit of back and forth. I definitely think the Danes are in better form right now, especially looking at their last few matches. Fnatic are an outside chance. Uh, I wouldn't call them an underdog, but <laughs> they're definitely can. no. But they're definitely in the mix there. So I'm looking forward to that one. It's going to be great. Cannot wait to jump in. Yeah, and it's going to be going down on Mirage very soon. So guys, do stay tuned. It's probably going to be the game of what I'd say is going to be the season for me, at least. I love watching these two play against each other, especially at pressure moments like this, leading up towards a major not too far away as well. So a lot on the line here between these two. I wonder how much they'll show. Of course, Mirage will be the uh, arena of this clash of the giants. So guys, do not go too far away. We'll be back after the break. Stream Masters. Now the time's debating that he gets it. Oh, it's beautiful. Exist. Two kills could never be so important. He's gonna go for it behind the fountain. Kerrigan's gonna charge him down. He's gonna miss quite a few pistol shots. Kenny S. Ooh, what a kill! But then he gets the second. Kenny S. Touches the round. 